2017 was a whirlwind. Together, we made tremendous progress in many areas that allow us to operate a more efficient utility on behalf of our community and our ratepayers. I challenge you to find a more productive public power utility anywhere in the Pacific Northwest. The year started off with historical cold temperatures. January brought Mason County's fifth coldest start in 70 years, and lakes around the whole county were frozen. Cold temperatures have a significant impact on customers' utility bills. Uh, this year in the conservation department, we were able to help uh, a number of small businesses and uh, schools just lowering their bills through um, lighting and heating and cooling. Uh, but I think as a department, one of the most beneficial things we do or the most rewarding things we do is when you see like a four or $500 bill and you get to climb under their house and figure out that it's disconnected duct work or a leaky well or something that somebody doesn't normally um, notice until they get their bill. Um, that's been the thing that's been uh, great for us this year is helping customers with those kinds of things. PUD3 is back open for solar. The Washington State Solar Incentive Program got renewed by the legislature and PUD3 redesigned its solar program to help the customers meet their personal renewable energy needs more efficiently. We've made great progress in our grid modernization project. We've got nearly 25,000 meters, 185 routers, and we're hoping for 11 collectors. In 2017, I have upgraded 3,257 meters. Together, we upgraded 1,471 meters. 2,886 meters. I upgraded 372 meters. In 2017, I upgraded 402 meters. Together, yeah, we've upgraded 4,190 meters. In 2017, I changed out 714 meters. Each and every meter base was inspected and tested when we upgraded the meter. We identified over 200 meter bases that had safety concerns, and we had the repairs completed to ensure a safe electrical system. Well, the advanced meters we've installed in 2017 have not only given us increased reliability in, uh, in keeping the power on, but have allowed us to proactively troubleshoot problems in our system before they become issues. In 2017, the meter shop built a new heat up board at a great savings to the utility. It's built in-house. This will allow us to run tests on new firmware upgrades, new meter programs, uh, to verify that they'll work before we do a deployment on a large scale. The grid modernization project allows us to offer a prepay program to our customers. This is a great solution for customers that have a high deposit or want to manage their electricity usage like they do the fuel for their car. The remote connect and disconnect meters allow us to respond to customer requests at higher turnover locations more quickly. We won lots of awards. Communication awards. Accounting awards. Safety awards. In 2017, Mason PUD3 earned its second consecutive designation as a diamond level, reliable public power provider. That's as good as it gets. Well done, everyone. The Utilities Underground Maintenance Program continues to be successful in identifying and replacing old and bad underground cable. This year, we were able to find a creative solution to complete a difficult project along Spencer Lake Road that had been a notorious repeat offender for underground faults. In the summer of 2017 at the Collins Lake substation, we upgraded our overcurrent protection from electrical mechanical to microprocess based relays. This gives operations and engineering better capabilities of monitoring system loads, analyzing system faults, and utilizing functions such as hotline tag for greater safety in the field. In addition to the upgrades at the Collins Lake substation, we pulled in four new getaways on all four feeders. The infrared scanning program is an aspect of our permit and maintenance that I'm really proud to be a part of. This year we've expanded our team to allow us to cover more service area by having two teams. Uh, really excited about that. This year we focused on disaster preparedness with the National Preparedness Month campaign. In 2018, watch for a new safety program that may also help us and our families in the event of a natural disaster. Randy and Sam did a great job on their model of the Downtown Shelton Payment Center. Not only did they update the finishes, but they also installed better security features for the CSRs and made a different lobby entrance to separate the PUD from the EDC. This year, the district received its 38th consecutive clean audit from the State Auditor's Office. We also received our 13th National Award from the Government Finance Officers Association for our annual report. The Clean Audit and Achievement Award not only verify we have met regulatory requirements, but also display our accountability and high standards of financial management and day-to-day -day operations. 
Over $5 million in inventory was issued out of our warehouse in 2017. We take pride in making sure it was accounted for and safely packed, staged, and mobilized throughout our county. There's been a steady increase in applications for new service over the past few years. That, along with several large commercial projects that are scheduled, means that over the next decade, several new substations will be needed throughout PUD3's service territory to meet growing energy needs. We work to develop an innovative solution for sustained substation funding. Each new customer connection pays a fair and equitable fee based on that customer's intensity of their power needs. The system capacity fee ensures that existing customers are protected from paying an undue amount for the construction of new substations. The first substation funded by the system capacity fee is started in the design stage. The new Totten substation will be fed out of the Skookum substation to support the vigorous commercial industrial expansion in the South Mason County area. Oh hey Justin! You like us on Facebook, right? How about you guys? Did you know that 10,000 of our customers like us? Also, you should follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. We win a lot of awards for our social media, but that's not why we do it. We do it because it's a really transparent way for us to talk to our customers and tell them what's going on. It also helps us fulfill our value of being a good community partner. We also lit up downtown this holiday season with a beautiful display of LED power. For Public Power Week, we hosted over 600 fifth grade students from throughout Mason County. Students learned about the importance of hydropower, electrical safety, fiber optic networks, and more. Mason County families to plant a tree in support of Forest of the Future. Our mini line truck entry won a prize in the Forest Festival Parade. Our team used in-house resources to come up with a creative solution to relocate an osprey nest that was being built on top of one of our critical circuit power poles. We look forward to their return in April and watching them raise their young under the watchful eye of our webcam. Okay, another Shuck and Chair is in the books. We raised over $2,100 this year at the Shuck and Chair and over $45,000 for the entire year to go towards Project Share. Aaron and Austin went to Florida and were part of a huge effort to restore electricity to millions of homes and businesses that were pummeled by Hurricane Irma. Our PUD3 team is very generous. We helped about 50 families through the School Supply Backpack Program, the Thanksgiving Basket Program, and the Foster Care Christmas Program. That's in addition to the nearly $9,000 donated to the United Way and Relay for Life. Last year, we hosted five blood drives with well over 100 registered donors, each donation saving up to three lives. We're now deeply into our NIC implementation. We're so far along that we have other Pacific Northwest utilities calling us to see how we're doing things. Almost all of the main modules are installed, and now we're working on continued fine-tuning and implementing of the many tools that are available to our staff and to our customers. This includes the continuing development and implementation of service orders, not only in the office, but out in the field as well. Our outage management system and call capture phone system help to keep track of outage events internally. It also helps to communicate outage information to customers who are interested. MDM SDA is scheduled to go live in early 2018. We're looking forward to seeing how these tools can help us improve the efficiency of our grid. We implemented the new CIS telecom billing and it has shortened the monthly billing process from a week long process to just a few days. Uh, we're still getting the hang of it, but it's working well so far. Using NISC's tools, we've streamlined the payment approval process. As most of you know, Employee Self-Serve launched in early 2017. The features of Self-Serve have been a huge benefit to employees and the payroll process. Instant availability and remote access have made it a huge hit. And as tax season approaches, be sure to watch for the addition of your W-2s and your 1095s. This year, we are excited to release another new approach to ESS. 
Stay tuned for the introduction of Epicor Self-Serve featuring access to employee benefits, personal information, electronic forms, and manager self-serve. We've gotten quite efficient at drafting work orders in MapWise and mappers have done a great job fielding and posting work orders. We're using MapWise GIS tools to get better information in more hands on both desktops and iPads. You can find our GIS maps on the web viewer, in CIS, or on the iPads. We've used NISC's auto-calling feature to proactively remind customers about past due accounts. This helps them stay caught up and keeps them out of risk of being disconnected. The tools available in the Smart Hub app, such as paperless billing, auto pay, usage explorer, and the outage reporting allow our customers to interact with the utility on their own time when they want to. Moving our bill print process to NISC allows us to operate more efficiently and provides a more informative resource to our customers. The IS group is excited to hear about and be a part of the things the PUD3 team has accomplished throughout the year. From the various NISC module implementations, such as employee self-serve and the various applications on the iPad, to working with conservation to move to new software solution, to things as simple as the fuel system working smoothly, that's us doing our job, and when problems do arise, we take pride in making fixes quickly. A few of the special projects that we've been working on this year include migrating the utility to Office 365, supporting improvements to telecom billing procedures, implementing new conservation software, implementing HRMS so the district can better track employee training and education, and continuing improvement on our back-end server systems. We would like to thank all of you for working with us to keep our systems safe and reliable. We are looking forward to another year as leaders in innovation and technology. Our customers have made it clear that they want PUD3 to be a part of the solution of providing high-speed broadband services to unserved and underserved areas of Mason County. To that end, we designed and launched our Fiberhood program, which is a creative way to expand the fiber network to the customers who want it without the rest of the ratepayers shouldering the burden. We launched the program this year with about 30 qualifying fiber hoods, representing about 3,000 potential new connects that don't have access to high-speed broadband. Several of the communities have already met their goal and are on the schedule for the 2018 construction, including Collins Lake on the Tahuya Peninsula, Island Shores on Harstein Island, and the Little Nawatso area. We also performed several fiber maintenance projects, which expanded access in the Lynch, Hudson, Allen, Sells, and Morgan Road areas. This new mini hut will allow us to more cost-effectively serve small areas and groups of people. In partnership with Tacoma Power, we've extended our backbone up to the Lake Cushman area. We've also upgraded our service to offer gig service to each of our customers. In 2017, we started using a vibratory plow to install conduit and microduct to our customers' homes. We now have well over a thousand connections to our network. Our new modular Colo 5 will be available soon at the Clifton Ridge Tower site. I'm proud to say that PUD3 adopted its 2018 budget with no rate increase. This is the second year in a row that we've been able to do that. This is partly a reflection on the incredible staff that we have here at the district who are continually looking for ways to operate a more efficient public utility. Thank you for your work in 2017, and I look forward to another great year ahead. Thank you.